Hey everyone, Ben here. I wanted to share a story about one of my friends that God has been working through this past year. We're going to call him Ryan. So, I met Ryan through volleyball. Early this year, I started going to uh, my local rec center to play volleyball every week so that I could meet people that don't know Jesus. Um, and Ryan was there. I met him. We played volleyball together every week for a bunch of months, having a lot of casual conversations, and I didn't know it was going to come of it, but I was asking for my prayer team to be praying for him and for opportunities as I interacted with people at volleyball. And after about three to four months, I would say, one week, he came up to me and he said, hey, Ben, are you a Christian? And I was like, Yes, I am. Why do you ask? That's a curious question. He was like, I just, you're really nice, and I thought you were a Christian. And I was like, oh, that's great. And I didn't really think anything of it. But I asked my prayer team to continue praying for him. And the next week, two minutes before we start playing volleyball, Ryan walks up to me and he says, Ben, I have a question for you. Would you be willing to help me read the Bible? And I was like, yeah. What? Yes! That's what I have been wanting to do. I mean, I didn't tell him that. In my mind, I was like, thank you, God. You are answering our prayers that we've been praying for a long time. And um, I was so excited to hear that. And I was like, yes, Ryan, I would love to read the Bible with you. He told me the reason why is he has been struggling with some things that he doesn't know how to deal with. And he was hoping that I could help him look in the Bible to see how he could um, be helped. So I was super excited about that, praising God. We met that Saturday, and we had dinner together and just went into some of the most in-depth, meaningful, and spiritual conversations about his life and where he has come from. He does not know Jesus yet, but he has interacted with Christians in his life, and they have had a very positive influence in his life. And he asked, asked me tons of questions about what the Bible says about um, various things and his struggles that he was having a hard time dealing with. Um, and I was just sharing opening scripture with him and showing him how um, they related to his needs. And he was being encouraged and challenged. And I was like, hey, I'd love to meet again. Um, maybe we can start reading through the Bible together. And he agreed. So the next week, we started reading through Genesis 1, going through the Creation to Christ Discovery Bible Study list. So, um, as we were going through that, as is usual in a Discovery Bible study, I asked, hey, if this is true, um, if this is from God, how should we change our life in response? And he was like, hey, if everyone is made in God's image, then I, I, I believe that my the roommate that I really dislike, that I really actually hate, I don't get along with him at all, he's made in God's image too. So this week, I will treat him as though he is a reflection of God. And I'm going to ask him how he's doing um, this week so that I can show care and concern for him. So that was super encouraging. I actually had a similar I will statement in response to Genesis 1 that I was going to treat one of my roommates that I also wasn't getting along with very well with love and respect as someone made in God's image. So we committed to the same thing. And we were beginning to um, see the fruit of God's word and transformation happen in Ryan's life. And also I asked... If this is true, who could you share it with? And he said he could share it with his parents who live in China back home. So, we continue to meet, um, and we're beginning to see life change. And, as is usual in making disciples, spiritual warfare did hit. And it is currently hitting. And in the form of, um, so we met a bunch of times, but busyness has invaded in Ryan's life. And he's fallen back into just some various um, struggles, especially with anger and things that he's dealt with in the past. So I would love it if you guys would be praying for my friend Ryan as I interact with him week to week. Um, we are still good friends and there are still many opportunities for conversation, but I ask that you would, you guys would pray, um, that God would rekindle his desire to get into scripture, whether with me or on his own. Um, and that that God would work powerfully against the spiritual warfare that is keeping um, my friend Ryan from um, meeting together and pursuing God and being transformed.
and that pray that we'd be able to meet again and that I'd be able to follow God's leading as I um, seek to be a disciple maker in his life. And that eventually Ryan would become a disciple, one who believes and falls in love with Jesus and um, makes disciples himself. So thanks for listening, guys. Be encouraged. And yeah, it's great to be on this journey of making disciples with you all. So God bless.